Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. How are y'all doing? So, I was supposed to post this video on my Inktober stuff last month, but, you know, procrastination and all. It's pretty great. Other than that, here we are. <laughs> this is more or less a compilation of my Inktober speed draws because most of the days I forgo recording and other days I was giving myself a rest and so the drawings are compiled into one session. But yeah, Inktober. If you haven't been keeping up with my stuff, I've made my own prompt list this time around called the Artist Takeover Inktober, or ATI. I'm not going to go too far into the controversy on Inktober because it's a bunch of artists growing wary of the October drawing challenge. But the intention for the challenge was to practice your art over a period of 31 days and there really isn't much pressure to complete this challenge or to really, really do it. It's whatever the artist makes of it. That's, or at least that's what I believe. So initially the challenge was made to practice inking through a series of 31 daily prompts not everyone's so inclined to do inking, like black and white line inking. So different artists have like used different mediums and they have different prompts. Some people use markers, paintings, digital. Uh, some artists do like make their own prompts like I've done. Um, some what I've seen this time around is that some artists have been doing one prompt over the 31 days and just focusing on that one thing. So again, it's it's really what the artist makes of it. As for what I practiced, I really like watercolors. A lot of artists that I know don't really like watercolors as much as they feel it's a bit more complicated in comparison to things like acrylic paints or color pencils or markers. I really like watercolors. It's a pretty relaxing pastime and it's a very malleable medium. The, west, the best way that I can explain it is like you're playing with really really soft clay or molding jelly. It's forgiving and unforgiving at the same time and really pushes the artist to go with the flow of things. I really enjoyed uh, experimenting with liquid watercolors this time around. I know it sounds a little weird. Liquid watercolors. What the heck? Like, we're so used to using, like, little cake pads of watercolors and little palettes and things like Crayola. Thank you, Crayola. But yeah, liquid watercolors. If you're looking for something a little bit more saturated, I would suggest investing in those. They can get a little bit pricey, as with all watercolors and other art supplies of that nature. Um, I use a brand called Ecoline. If you've probably seen it throughout this video, there's like little bottles everywhere. They're like 30 milliliters and I think they're really nice. You can add water to them if you want to desaturate them, make them look a little bit more pastel. Um, I'm not sponsored by them but they're a pretty good brand. I get them usually for about $6 each at my local art supply store. Another brand I use is the ink sets from Heikala. She has like a bunch of nice starter ink sets if you're trying to get into it. And But they, they're a little bit more pricey. Those are about like $20 each set, not including shipping. And they, but they're, they're a really, really good brand. I really like them. Um, I'll leave a link to her store in the description below. I'm not sponsored, I just really really like them. If you're looking for something like that, then I would suggest going to her. But yeah, if you're interested in my prompt list, I have it up on the screen right now. This is what I basically done for the year, or for this, this monthly art challenge. I made it on a lot of like prompts that I liked to think about when drawing like they are they draw a lot of inspiration for me doing illusionist type of work or floral patterns or just drawing nature in general I tried to pick out things that are a little bit obscure because it's it's my prompt list 
and how I interpret certain things may be different from how other people interpret things. Um, some of my friends decided to follow the prompt list and I really liked seeing what they put out in comparison to like what I put out. It was, it's, it's just really fun to see what other people come up with when you're looking at prompts. I think that's like the really, like one of the big beauties of the Inktober challenge is that everyone has their own interpretation of the prompt and how they, they make it do of it. And just seeing what other people create is really, really cool. But yeah, so I'll let you guys go ahead and watch the rest of the prompts. If you want to learn more about each piece, it's up on my Instagram in the descriptions. I do like a little, little quote for each of the pieces and then everything connected to it. Like this one is Genshin Impact because I've been playing that for a long time. Poor Amber doesn't get drawn in this one. But yeah. I'll let you guys go, you guys can watch the rest of the speed draws, and I will be back later.
Hi, hello. Yeah, so it's around this point of the drawing challenge that I'm really losing the motivation to draw any longer. That's what really makes the Inktober challenge a challenge, I think. Um, it's all about the endurance, whether or not you can make it through the full 31 days. Last year, I made some people a bit mad by not completing the very last day. Like, I did every single day but the last day. It was Halloween. This is like the time where I could actually go to parties and stuff. And, you know, just spending time in a corner just drawing is not fun. So, I, was, I just didn't do that year. But yeah, so you can start to see um, things like quality going down just for a large dish effort to complete the challenge. But yeah, it's it's what you make of it. A reoccurring theme with art is what you make of it. I gave myself a bit uh, like some rest days, and so the last couple prompts are compiled into two drawing sessions. The arts doesn't, like, the quality is not as good as, like, when we first started. That first drawing is, I think, is the most quality I've ever put into a drawing. Or at least a traditional piece. But, yeah, so I, I just did it just to get it over with. That's the end of the video. That's it. Um, that's another year gone by, another challenge done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and try out the challenge for yourselves. You can practice art at any time, it doesn't have to be the Inktober. You can do it any month if you want, do any prompts you want. Practice art, you know? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, like and subscribe, hit that post bell notification, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!